Well, they lost, so that means he gets to keep the game ball, right? Hi, kids! Victorious puppies! Huh? This team is ruining my life! Why do I watch hockey? Stress ruining folks! We can, and we will! I've been getting so many comments this year like, Steve, the lighting makes your hair look gray. No! The fact that my hair is going gray is what makes my hair look like it's going gray! Listening to the Casperi Cabinet News Conference and people are like, oh, the media are so hard on the lady. Oh my goodness, why are fans so hard on the... What do you think? Because they do this! Because they take a 3-1 lead and flush it down the toilet! Because this team, like no other in professional sports, knows how to take a three-game win streak and make it evaporate! It's not even that they lose! Every team loses! Not every winning streak lasts forever! But they find a way to make it feel like, oh, I was never happy with this team at any point in my entire life! Ever! This team in their own barn without Barkov in the lineup! With the Panthers right there! Right Holy smoking there! And the guy taking his spot in the lineup, Dominic Toninato, leaf draft pick because of course he is! I keep seeing the Leafs, 114 point pace under Sheldon Keefe, 116 point. Tell you what, are you gonna make the playoffs or not? If you're not, lose every game for the rest of the season. I don't give a damn. Give Carolina the best player that the NHL has ever seen. I hope the player that they draft with that Patrick Marlowe pick goes on to break all the Gretzky's records. Screw Ovechkin. Because when this team does the thing, they do it properly. So do it then. Don't play great for three straight games. Don't play great for two periods and then fill your pants down to the socks. I don't care if Frederick Anderson was abducted by actual oh my godding aliens. In Excusable! But Steve, they dominated this, they dominated- Blow your nose with those numbers! I don't care! I don't care because the standings don't care! Well, it's not really how the process works. How does the process work? Let's have a referendum on the process then, huh? Well, the number- What do the numbers say? What? What do they say? Do the numbers say that almost every compliment I've ever given Cody Cece is me moving the goalpost? Does it say that? What do the numbers say about Travis Dermott heading into a summer where he could be standing next to an actual Joker from the Dark Knight pile of money and he's just taking a can of Axe body spray and a lighter and lighting the whole thing on fire! I think he's got all the potential in the world! Don't care win games and if you keep doing that you're gonna get charged with arson! Oh but it's the best we can do! You're ignoring the circumstances, the context, look at the cap situation! You just allowed a hat trick from Mark Straight Up Pissick! A right handed defenseman who was playing some forward on some Nick Robertson nonsense! But they're first 40, they're first- don't care! Do not care. It's like awarding Usain Bolt the gold medal for running until the 80 meter line and stopping. Yeah, but when you really look at his first 80 meter, he stopped! And now what do you got? Now what do you got? Anderson's out for who knows. Hutchison has played great recently. Choked on another multi-goal lead in the third period against an Atlantic opponent on home ice. Yes, Montreal. Yes, the third game of the season. No, people don't forget. The positive things that Kyle Dubas has done with this roster are undeniable. Up front, they are a force of holy smoking nature. Austin Matthews, John Tavares, slump, what? William Nylander, Mitch Marner, it's disgusting. The depth is disgusting. Every aspect of it is disgusting. That was one of Matthews' best defensive performances I've ever seen. And yeah, you got Tyson Barry. Wonderful. You have a coach that, you know, plays Justin Hall. Hey, wonderful as well. You still got Captain Referendum back there, dude. Steve, so you got the game ball last game. You were just talking about it. I move the goalpost constantly, uh, and I'm trying to be an optimist. I, I cannot do it. I can't do it. Listen, all right, I like being happy-go-lucky with you. Steve, I don't like this side of you. Ne neither do I! But I, I'm, I'm tired of it. Really, really, in your heart of hearts, you don't gotta answer me out loud. You, you'll do it in your head, that's fine. You think, in your heart of hearts, this team is gonna go into a playoff series and do anything? They're gonna win four out of seven games against any given opponent with that guy in the lineup. For real. Like, looking back, like, Eric Carlson should have won the Conn Smythe in 2017. Are you kidding? And the back of goalie situation, I, I tell you what, man, Michael Hutchison better stand on his bloody head because we knew this was the problem. We knew it the whole time. What, Michael Neuwirth? Was your ultimate fail safe? Remember that? The Leafs usually play this wicked fun style that is a joy to watch. It's just not gonna work in the playoffs. Um, I'm just gonna say it out loud because it's uncomfortable and I've been trying to deny it for a long time. The rules change. Listen, I, I know it's stupid, but they do. The rules change. That team's gonna beat the Blues. That team's gonna beat the Bruins. Grow up. And hey, save this in the time capsule if somewhere down the road the Leafs actually pull that off. 
believe me, I'll be in there celebrating with you. They'll be playing differently, though. They won't be playing like this. They won't be blowing a 3-1 lead. A 3-1 lead that they gained in the third. This wasn't a surprise. They won't be blowing a 3-1 lead to the Panthers. It's unacceptable. Stop kid-gloving this team. It's unacceptable. I know a few weeks back I was saying, oh my goodness, Leafs, you can't, you can't handle any losses. Are you, you don't deserve to experience happiness when they win. This wasn't a regular loss, guys. And, and I'm seeing some of this on Twitter from people being faux stoic. Uh, and I, I, I don't understand how your brain circuitry works. I, I don't understand how you feel happiness when they win if a loss like that doesn't drive you out of your mind! Okay, what's worse? Going about your day, walking around, and just not having any ice cream. You just walk around, you don't have any. Or someone hands you ice cream and you dropped it. No, what's the matter? What's the matter? I see no difference between these two scenarios. In both scenarios, you don't consume any ice cream. I, I, I don't understand what the big deal is. I didn't think I'd have to explain this, but in one scenario, you didn't know the ice cream even existed. In the other, you had it and you duffed it. So what's the difference? Screwing up, throwing it away. Oh well, no, no, it's still good. I can pick it up and you didn't know. Not in this scenario, not in the NHL. This is Dundas Station. You are not picking that ice cream up. I won't allow you. It should be illegal. And now here we are. It's February 3rd. This team has the same problems that they've had exposed over and over and over again. And it might get a whole lot worse unless Frederick Anderson is healthy. And they have approximately no time to figure that out or make a move if they want to. So unless Casimir Kaski Swo turns out to be amazing, the Leafs are going to have to dig deep. Can't sleep through a trade. Now let me take a breath as I uh, come down from this night of video. This is important from Chris Johnston. Sheldon Keefe says the results were positive on Frederick Anderson's concussion test. They'll revisit it in the morning. He may practice tomorrow. Yeah, about that, by the way. So it was Jake Muzzin and Frank Vitrano, I believe, uh, colliding with Frederick Anderson, although there was a bump uh, earlier in the game that Anderson didn't like either. People were talking about Vitrano crashing into Anderson. People were talking about Muzzin shoving Vitrano into Anderson. I don't think either thing happened. I don't think Muzzin threw him into Anderson. I just don't think that's what happened. I think it was extremely unfortunate. It was a physical net front battle that went disastrously. Hey, see? Look. Reasonable. This is the face of reason. What? What do you want now? Okay. I found this on the web for reasonable what's the face of reason. Check it out. Just make the playoffs. Or no, no. I was just laughing because my phone yelled at me. Don't just make the playoffs. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Win a championship. Look like a champion for crying out loud. St. Louis didn't turn it on until not that long ago when you look at last season. It could be you. It could be you. But right now, no freaking way. No. 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 Not a chance. We played good most of the game. Once again, I can't believe I'm asking you this again. Would you eat a four-tier wedding cake with a booger in it? Imagine you're at the mall. Oh, you'll love these pants. They're slim fit, but they got the stretchy waist. There's a little duty stain right there. And they're also buy one, get one free. So if you consider this an acceptable loss, enjoy your duty stain pants. Steve, that's immature. No, it's immature to ignore reality. Dude, yes. If you play the way the Leafs played for the vast, vast majority of this game, you should expect to win. The Leafs kicked the Panthers' ass in almost every aspect of this game, except the score. Their mistakes were mistakes! Man. Man, oh man. They got the Rangers in MSG on Wednesday. And, uh, I mean, Alexander Georgiev will be in New York. Which is just a mere fact that I thought I would state. That's all. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click. What? I don't know what you're complaining about. The first half of the outro was fine. Hey! 
Uh, do you want to come see me in person where I will yell less specifically at you? I don't plan on yelling at you. Uh, I'm doing a little book tour that's coming up over the next little uh, month and a bit. Uh, February, March, April. A Kingston date just announced. Look down below if you live in uh, somewhere in Ontario. Maybe I'm coming to your town there. Down in the description. Alright, you do that.